All right, if you've ever made a website before, you're probably familiar with how notorious Internet Explorer is. So Internet Explorer is infamous for being a very old browser that doesn't support any of the new features with CSS or JavaScript and just having a ton of bugs with all these new technologies. So if you maybe wanted to use CSS Grid for your CSS or if you wanted to use the Fetch API or template literals in your JavaScript, well, if there's a significant portion of your audience that uses Internet Explorer, you're pretty much screwed. You're not going to be able to use any of these because it's just not going to be working for your visitors. Now, as you can imagine, Internet Explorer usage is a lot less than it used to be. Nowadays, it's something like 1%, half a percent of people that are on the Internet that are still using Internet Explorer. So you might be wondering, do we still need to support Internet Explorer in 2020? I know we've been talking about this for years and years and years. Do we still need to support this browser? And the answer is, it depends. Yeah, there's no simple yes or no answer, unfortunately. And I'm going to say it depends on your audience. So who still uses Internet Explorer these days? Well, there's two groups, and the first you probably know uh, is the boomers. So your grandma, despite your best efforts to install Google Chrome on her machine and tell her, Grandma, it's just like Internet Explorer, but better. No, she's still going to use Internet Explorer despite your best efforts, so you're just going to have to deal with it. So if your website is catering to an older audience that hasn't updated their PC in over 10 years, then you're probably still going to need to develop for Internet Explorer. And also, the second group is people on an enterprise system. So these are people working at a company that's using enterprise software with these ancient computers, using this ancient intranet that somebody built 20 years ago and hasn't updated since. They're still using Internet Explorer because if they try to upgrade it, it just breaks all of the old websites because it's just not compatible with newer browsers. It literally only works in Internet Explorer. So that's what they have to deal with. Even if they don't want to, that's what they got to do for the company. So if you're developing websites for either of these groups, then yes, unfortunately, you do still need to be using Internet Explorer. But there is good news, as you can see from this article that I've been on. So Microsoft is actually sunsetting Internet Explorer 11 and Microsoft Edge, the old version before Chromium. So Microsoft is going to stop supporting these, at least for their Microsoft Teams and their Microsoft 365 apps. So these are their online services. And even Microsoft themselves are saying it's just not worth the trouble anymore to continue to support Internet Explorer 11. So they're no longer going to be supporting it starting in August 17 of next year and uh, later this month for Microsoft Teams. So what does this mean for you? So basically, since Microsoft is no longer supporting Internet Explorer for these web applications, it's going to kind of force a lot of these companies that are still using these legacy systems and these legacy browsers, it's going to kind of force them to maybe upgrade if they want to continue to keep using these products. So that's good for you because that means that the Internet Explorer market share is going to go down even more. And you're going to have to worry about Internet Explorer less and less. Now, like I said, it depends on your audience. So if you're building a website for an eSports team, obviously you're not going to have to support any of these legacy browsers. It's going to be a very, very small fraction, if any at all, that are actually using Internet Explorer. Maybe your grandma wants to check up on what her grandson is doing. That's about it. But I guess another good question would be, am I still supporting Internet Explorer when I'm making websites for my clients? I actually do not support Internet Explorer anymore. I don't test it. I don't test on Legacy Edge anymore as well. And if my clients want to support Internet Explorer or any of these older browsers, and if my clients want to support Internet Explorer or one of these legacy browsers, then I do charge extra to set it up for Internet Explorer because it is a lot more hassle and a lot more development time just to fix all these bugs and open up a VM and test it in Internet Explorer with their abysmal dev tools. So yeah, if they do need to support it, I do charge more, but I think that's fair considering the extra development time. And honestly, I very rarely come across that anymore. Maybe if I'm developing something for a retirement home, but I honestly don't see it very much anymore. So continuing on forward, I'm not going to be developing sites for Internet Explorer unless my clients very specifically need it.
as it stands, I've basically forgotten that Internet Explorer exists because I haven't had to deal with any of the bugs or problems with it for a long time, especially not for my personal websites. So I think you should do the same. If you do develop for Internet Explorer, you do need to charge your clients extra. I think that's only fair. And then just enjoy all the stress that you saved from not having to deal with these Internet Explorer bugs and problems.